Did you know that Jamaica is the only non-vogue territory allowed to host a fashion night out? With the help of the Jamaica Observer, we have brought fashion night out to Jamaica for the past three years. Our team got a chance to catch up with the Jamaica Observer and I, your host Chantel, got a chance to interview Vivica Fox. Check that out guys. night out in New York three years ago and I landed at John F. Kennedy International Airport and I saw these huge signs fashions night out driving into Manhattan I saw the signs fashions night out it got to my hotel fashions night out plus the newspaper was on my bed and it had it was the official newspaper fashions night out when I got up and you literally just stood on Fifth Avenue Look down, you just saw a sea of humanity, literally a sea of humanity coming towards you. I said, oh my God, right? And I mean, you literally were, to work pressing flesh would have been an understatement. You were like, and then you saw the prices, because even at, at the stores, you saw the wonderful 50% off prices. So I was like, oh my God, this is amazing, in between grabbing a few dresses, of course. Picked up the phone and I called my CEO and I said, this, I said, um, I'll see you in 10 days. But when we get back to Jamaica, we're doing something called Fashion's Night Out. Everywhere that I've been, the only thing I see is... is I'm hosting Makeup Meets Fashion tonight at the Soho Boutique. And we have Novia White to actually thank for bringing uh, Fashion Night Out to Jamaica. To Jamaica. Yes, definitely. Um, she was very instrumental in making sure that it came. She fought hard for it, and uh, I'm honored that I'm going to be here for actually uh, makeup meets fashion. Great. Yes, yes, That's amazing. yes. And I'm going to be introducing my hairline to all the ladies this evening. We're going to have a couple of models. No, no. Live your life, live your life. Twenty telephone calls later, I actually found some death row, and that was Megan Salt. Thank you, Megan. There were many hiccups. Many, many, many hiccups, but we made it and we got the approval to have our first fashion night out in Jamaica. The beauty is inside you. Don't let them bring you down. We're looking for about 2,000 stores, so what we want to do is get the sales rep in the other regions revved up. We're especially trying to go to Portland, we want to go to Savalamar, so we need to get them revved up and we need to get at least a thousand stores this year. Jamaica has 14 beautiful parishes and a lot of times we always concentrate around the major cities like Kingston and Montego Bay. But this year everybody in Jamaica shops. We have beautiful boutiques in Negril, we have beautiful boutiques in Ocho Rio, Santa Cruz, Portland. And we want everybody to be shopping this year. So not only are we going to stay in Kingston, but we're going to go all over the place. We're here in Kingston today. Mm -hmm. I've been to Barbados before, yeah, Turks and Caicos. Um, I've also been to Bermuda. So so I absolutely love the islands. I have a special thing with pretty blue water. Yes. In the States, we don't get it as much mm -mm. as what you do when you come to the islands. I say come to the Turquoise Islands because yeah. they just refresh your soul. The very first day of Fashion's Night Out, we got a call from the United States asking if it was Jamaica, as in Jamaica in the Caribbean, was a part of Fashion's Night Out that was listed. That would be the future. Right, we got we got people to sit up and take note. The first year Sam Fine came to Jamaica because he was just like people were. We got lots of telephone calls and inquiries because we are associated, of course, with the best coffee, the best jerk. We've got fabulous looking women that have won international competitions, right? But we are not known as a fashion destination. It's been 15 years since oh I've been God. to Jamaica. It's been, it was a long time. The last time I was here was for a girlfriend's wedding. Right. So to come here now and just see that, that it's just grown so much mm -hmm. makes me so proud, yeah. you know? Um, but for me, one of my fondest memories would be uh, walking hand in hand and taking a romantic stroll on the beach. Jamaica has that under the moonlit sky. Yes, skies, under the, the moonlit sky. It was yeah. absolutely wonderful. Jamaica's so. very romantic like yes, that. Yes, a stroll on the beach, so. So you'll be back soon, though? Yes, Sooner absolutely. Though, not 15 I, years. Later. I hope to make this a yearly event. Please I hope do, to come every year for please fashion do. night. We can do um, a fashion show with the hair. Who knows? Maybe next time I'll be introducing a clothing yeah. line. Yeah. We can be doing some makeup. We can just do a little, do it all. Jamaica is like a little big island. Yes. I mean, everything that goes on internationally, we have it here. Surely we have influence. So it is time for us now 
to gain, we've earned our rightful our, our spot. It is now time for the world to see us as a fashion destination. And that would be great. I'm very, very happy. Thank and I'm you. pretty sure that tonight you have a blast with Fashion Night. Though. We're gonna make a splash. Yes. <laughs> How about that, right? We're gonna make a splash tonight. How about yeah. that? Let's toast to that. To making a splash in Jamaica.